Hey yo, what's poppin'? Party people, I'm that one dude, Christian Music. Welcome back to Slay the Spire. You already know what time it is. In the last video, I went through the first two heroes. I guess the first two characters. Yeah, whatever. So I played as the Ironclad and I played as the Silent. Now this time around, I'm gonna play as the Defect and then whatever character we unlock after that. If I don't make it to the final boss and clear the first act, then I'm gonna go through the characters that I like the best. So far, I like the Silent the best. I like the Silent's cards and the abilities, so I may play as the Silent from now on, but we're gonna try the Defect and see how well that goes. You guys showed a lot of love on that first Slay the Spire video, so thank you for that. If you're returning from that video to watch this one, I thank you. And if you're new, I don't even have to say it. The button is down there. <laughs> Hello again. I brought you back. Enemy in your next combat? Nah, we need that max HP. We need as much HP as we can get. So, I want to take the path that has the least amount of enemies. I don't know if that's the strategy, but that's going to be my strategy because enemies equals battle and battle equals less hp and less hp equals death i think i'll go the left path oh passive at the end of turn deal three damage to random enemy evoke deal eight damage orb can be channeled into these slots okay channel lightning Got it. Interesting. Evoke your next turn, your next orb. Evoke your next orb twice. Damn. Oh, okay. Okay. Passive at the end of your oh, I'm getting it. Okay. I'm understanding so at the end of the turn I deal three damage to that random enemy, which is what happened at the end of my first turn I was like how the hell did I damage them? I didn't even do but then if you actually evoke it if I Maybe how do you evoke I don't know but if the orb is actually used like properly as a weapon it deals eight damage instead of the three I got you Okay. Damn, so I think I like the defect a little bit better. Okay. Nice. Nice. Add a card to your deck. Draw two cards, add a burn into your discard pile. Unplayable at the end of your turn, take two damage. Why would I want that? Gain six block, decrease this card's block by one this combat. Deal three damage, increase the damage of all claw cards by two. Maybe? I don't... I don't know. Molten Egg? Whenever you add an attack into your deck, upgrade it. Upgrading cards... Woo! What is this one? Cracked core. At the start of each... Uh, okay. Alright, I'm getting it. Let's throw down! Deal three damage. Increase the damage of all claw cards. I don't think I have any claw cards though. Oh! Man, it's so weird when like it clicks in my brain because I'm just like, oh! Every time. So what this card does is it deals three damage now, but if I were to have had more claw cards in my inventory or in my deck, it would increase the other claw cards by two. However, I only have the one, so it won't increase anything. It'll just do the three damage. But this is still useful because it does three damage and it's a zero cost card. So we'll do that. And then we'll channel the lightning. And then we'll just strike. Oh, but he's going to hit us for 11. That was a bad idea. We got him down to half health, though. Not too bad. Enemy blocks. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm gonna strike him, and then we're gonna evoke. 
I almost had him. I'm not gonna use that. Oh, I should have. <gasps> nice. Nice. I think I really like the defect. Gain nine block. Deal six damage for each channeled orb. Yes. I probably should have taken the block, but I really like. I'm more of an offensive player when it comes to RPGs. I do not like to block. I don't like def I don't like defending. It just feels like a waste of a turn when I could just go in balls deep. You know what I mean? Why would I waste my turn defending against the enemy attack when I could just give him all I got? Um. Ooh, get him out of here! Get him out of here! Nine block. If you have no block, gain 11 block. Gain three block, put a card from your discard pile into your hand. Exhaust. Ooh. Oh, this one is a high risk, high reward because I have a lot of block cards. But if the off chance that I don't have any block cards in my hand, that's a lot of block. But then this one is also really good because not only do I get the block, but I get a card that was discarded back, which could be a nice play as well. But nine block is the safest way to go. I'm going to go with the hologram. Uh, uh, I don't feel good about this. I don't have the health for it. However, on channel, it's sleeping. Ooh, wait, wait, wait. Gain the three block. Take that back. And then channel all the three orbs. Oh, okay. And now when I get the barrage plus card, that's gonna make for a nasty play. Ooh, ooh. So we're gonna deal six damage. I'm gonna block just to be safe, and then we're gonna do a barrage plus. Look at that! And then that's still. Oh my god! Oh. Oh yeah. Can you stop hitting for so much? This is extremely risky, but man, this is going well. Huh? Look at that. So what happens if I were to channel a lightning if I already have three orbs? Yo, we're making it. We're making it out of the hood with this one. I'm gonna... No, actually, fuck off. <laughs> Woo! Give me that go. You can now remove cards from your deck at rest sites. Oh. Mm. I'll take the frost. Whew. I picked this path because it had the most rest spots. <laughs> Wait, no, this is an enemy. Oh, shit. Shit. All right, here's the play. Add this, gain three block, get that block back, add another block. Now he's not gonna hit me for anything. Yeah. Yeah. Who do you think you are? Channel, add a block, gain frost draw card. Well, that doesn't really help because. Oh. Oh. Yeah, I think the defect is the way to go. I don't know what it is, but... Up. Uh, Up. Uh. We'll go. Yes. <laughs> There's no way I'm not making it through the spire. Okay, you're gonna attack for 13. Not if I kill you first! I'm entangled, I can't attack. What kind of shit? Fine, we'll just block then. Or we could do that. That works too. Double your energy exhaust. Channel one dart. Increases damage every turn. When evoked, deal damage to the enemy with the least HP. Hmm. 
deal 10 damage, draw one card for each unique orb you have. That would be helpful for Frost and Darkness. But because I only have Frost, ooh. But doubling your energy, I get so many good cards. I don't know which one to pick. This one works so well. Oh, it's draw one card for each unique orb you have. Okay, so it still does the 10 damage even if I don't have frost. Yeah, why wouldn't I go with that? Okay, rest. Jesus. Treasure. The next two non-boss chests you open contain two relics. Got it. I'll go ahead and smith. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Okay. What I was thinking was going to happen if I were to upgrade the zap was that it was going to channel two lightning instead of the one, but it now just costs zero, which is very helpful. I'm debating between smi uh, smithing the zap into a zap plus for zero energy. The dual cast plus is also zero energy. This deals five damage, but I don't have another claw card, so it doesn't really matter. This one gains five block <clears throat> and then still puts the discarded pile or discarded card into my hand. I know what I said about defense and how I'm not much of a defensive player when it comes to RPG games like this. But imagine the play, right? Imagine I use this card, I get the five block, and then I draw another five block throw that on there that's 10 block and that's already two um two energies wasted and then let's say i do get a dual cast i evoke an orb and that just that's my choice i got the five block i don't know it just seemed right it felt right on receiving attack damage rolls up and gains seven block once per combat Oh, fuck! Damn it! I wasn't paying attention. Okay. I forgot about the curl-up ability. Ow. 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 That's fine. That'll work. This is okay. I'm gonna take... Get that out of here! Get that out of here! And in my turn. <laughs> I need to remember that these are here. Add a card to your deck. Nice. Deal 9 damage to all enemies. Draw one card. Yes. Yes. Merchantman! Just the person I wanted to see! Unfortunately for me this time I have the goods for all the goods, except for whatever this is. Every time you play three skills in a single turn, deal five damage to all enemies. That's nice, but I don't really care all that much. At the end of combat, heal seven HP. Oh, that's really nice. Channel one frost for each enemy in combat. Oh, that's really nice. This is also nice too. So this evokes the orb and then channels it right back. Deal nine damage to a random enemy for each lightning channel this combat. The defect is on easy mode. These cards are like OP. I'm definitely gonna get this. And then I wanna get this. Oh, and I still got more. Still got more. I'll take that. That was a nice play. That was a good one. 
That was a good one. It's over. It's over! <laughs> yes! Innate. Gain 10 block. What does innate do? Start each combat with this card in your hand. They keep feeding me like these really good cards. Now, this is the big question. Do I want to gain total health back? Or do I want to upgrade one of my cards? I do need to remember that I still have these up here. Gain two energy, play the top three cards of your draw pile. Ah, oh, this feels stupid, but I'm, I wanna gain 13. That felt like a waste, but ah, uh, It's okay, it's okay, we got it. 250 health. That's nothing. Look at that. Evoke right away. I mean, not evoke. Uh, you know what I meant. He's not going to attack. So we are going to... We're going to go in head first. Hell yeah! Look at that! Yo! Oh, five times six. No. No. We're fucked. I'm gonna be able to get his health down like super low, but I don't think I'm making it out of this alive. This is not looking good. I mean, it's looking fine compared to what it could be, but this is not looking good. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, you intend to block. So I'll channel these. Just start, just start attacking. Just start wailing. Do it! Do it! <laughs> uh, we might actually do this. Oh. Oh, that's not good. That is not good at all. Why did I do that? my god, that's a lot of burn cards! Oh my god, that's a lot of burn cards. What is he at, 53? <laughs> well, either way, I'm dead because the burn cards are in my hand. Yeah, that's it. Good game. Good game. Oh, no. We're making it. We're making it out of the hood with this one. No. The defect is such a good... I think if I played it right. I think if I... If I went in with more health, instead of smithing that useless card... It wasn't useless, but the upgrade was useless. Oh, no. This character is unlocked by winning a standard run and having the third character unlocked. So I can't even use the fourth character until I've like slayed the boss. Transform a card. Oh, okay. Let's not do that. Let's uh, let's take one of our damage cards. Deal seven damage, channel one lightning. That was a good, that was a good play. Let me take a look at the map and see what the best course of action is. All right, I got it. We're gonna take the left path here, the left path. 
because it has more rest spots and like less boss enemies. So if I go this way, it's got a chest, literally no boss enemies. So, or I guess no elite enemies. And if I take any other path, there's a chance that I will run into an elite enemy, and that will mean less health. Light work. Light work. Gain two orb slots or apply vulnerability. The vulnerability might come in handy for the big boss, because if I can apply vulnerability, it then takes 50% more damage, but then two orb spots could do so much for like my evoking. Oh, the decisions, decisions. I'm gonna do a simple eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch it, tag it, bad, up, iffy, honor, up, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. <laughs> you duck into a small hut. Inside, you find what appears to be a forge. The smithing tools are covered with dust, yet a fire roars inside the furnace. You feel on edge. Upgrade a card. Why wouldn't I? Bing, bing, bing. That is sexy. That is so schmexy. That is what I needed. Mwah, 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 mwah. The defect is everything. Now I don't really need HP like that, so I'm going to upgrade one of my cards. This is already going so much smoother than the last run. Yes. And then I've got one, two more rest spots before I get to the boss. So if I need health, which judging by the way that things are going right now, I shouldn't, but just in case, I have that opportunity. Damn. It would have been nice if the third one attacked this guy. That's okay. That's all right. I got too ahead of myself. Ah, I see you want to keep attacking me, huh? Well, how about some more vulnerable for you? And then how about one of these? And then how about one of these? I want this just to see what it means. What do you mean double my energy exhaust? Removed until end of combat. Oh, double your energy. Exhaust it. Okay. I thought that meant double your energy exhaust. I didn't see the periods, so I thought it was like. Never mind, but I know what it means. Start each combat with 10 blocks until next turn prevents damage. That is nice. Gain two strength, gain 12 block. All right. A little longer than a few minutes later. I'm going to rest because I have. The block potion, I have the anchor, which already gives me 10 block at the start of the battle. I have the energy potion and the fear potion, plus all the good cards that I have in my hand right now. I should be able to get through this, no problem. So I'm gonna rest, have full HP. Let's do this. <laughs> ah, the slime boss. I'm on your head! Oh, but he's got less HP. I feel like they... I feel like they gave me an easy one this time around. But I mean, playing as the defect is easy, so I don't, I don't know what I was expecting. Preparing? Slime Crush! 35! Well, I would say that this is... This is a better time than ever to use that block potion. 
Whenever you receive unblocked attack damage, channel one lightning. Well, that doesn't seem very helpful right now. Oh, wait. Never mind. That would be very helpful, actually. Ooh, we might be able to get through this. Ow! 59 HP. That's not bad. Split? No! Okay. All right. Okay. We can do this. I got this. Okay. There's another split? You're splitting again? I think this just means that they do less damage now though. That's good. Oh no. I'm stupid. Uh, they're making me very frail and weakening me ow I'm not worried though I know that we got this for sure That's game! Woo! <laughs> Defeated the slime boss. Find all your empty potion slot. Fill all your empty potion slots with random potions. Okay. Deal seven damage for each lightning channel this combat. At the start of your turn, add a random power card into your hand. Shuffle all your cards into your hand, draw four cards. Exhaust. Ah, uh, Thunderstrike is a good card. At the end of your turn, you no longer discard your hand. Oh, wait, no, I didn't. I didn't know that that was a choice. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Act two, the city. Hell yeah. Okay, I hope that the game saves my progress. I don't. This is one of those things where if I leave, oh, save and quit. Okay. All right. That is all the time I'm going to put into this for now. We finally completed act one. I don't know how many acts there are in this game, but man, the defect is everything. Anybody who chooses anything other than the defect is not all the way there because it feels like I'm playing on easy mode though, because some of the cards are just so OP. But I'm not really complaining if I'm being honest. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel powerful when I use some of these cards playing as the defect. I'm excited to get into act two though. Let's see, how, how big is the spire? Okay, it's about the same length. I don't know though, I'm curious to know what, uh, if you've played Slay the Spire for yourself, what is your favorite build? Like, do you like the Ironclad? Do you like the Silent? Do you like the defect? I don't know what the fourth one is, but because we had a successful run, Unless it means go all the way to the top, then. But anyways, if you want to see my last video, which is a game called April 24th, came out on April 24th, played it on April 24th, uploaded it on April 25th, that'll be linked somewhere around here. That game has some really big jump scares in it, so if you're into that, go check that out. If you want to see my last Slay This Fire video, I'll also have that linked around there somewhere as well. I'm gonna get out of here. I love you guys. Stay safe out there. Take it easy. And big buddy out. Just know that I am him. I took down the slime boss. There's a lot of other people who have done that, but I'm him.